Hey everyone, this is Sophia Schur at TME at Infoblox. Today, we're going to talk about the Blox One Cloud Data Connector integration with Azure Sentinel, Microsoft SIM and SOAR solution. The integration is part of Microsoft's emerging family of Sentinel solutions, a one-stop shop for deploying content directly into a Sentinel workspace with just a few clicks. Using the Infoblox CDC, or Cloud Data Connector, which is part of Blox One Threat Defense, you can send DNS query logs, security hits, and DHCP lease logs to Azure Sentinel, where you can view the logs, visualize them, scan for anomalous activity, automate remediation, and a whole lot more. In this video, we will go over how the integration works, view the data in log analytics, and explore the workbook and analytics queries bundled with the solution. The integration is discoverable in the Azure Marketplace and Portal, it is currently free to install, and you can register a free trial of Sentinel on their website to try it out. Users simply download the solution from the portal, and content begins appearing in their selected workspace. The solution is packaged with some analytics queries for passive anomalous scanning, a workbook for data visualization, and a custom data connector. And this data connector is how data is ingested into Sentinel. In Sentinel, data connectors are basically a nice, consolidated wrapper for getting different types of data into Sentinel, and they come packaged with documentation on how to configure and enable them. And how it works is you configure a CDC within the Infoblox CSP to send whatever Blox One cloud data you wish to a Linux box. Both DDI and Threat Defense logs are supported. This Linux box can be an Azure Linux virtual machine, or you can use your own. And on this Linux box, you install a tiny piece of software called an agent that collects the CDC logs and sends them to the right workspace. This agent is installed with a single console command provided on the data connector documentation, so it's super easy to install and configure. And all these instructions are documented in detail within the connector itself. Let's take a look at Sentinel Log Analytics. Once you install the agent and configure the CDC, Logs will start flowing into Sentinel, which you can view in the Logs tab. Simply search for Common Security Log in the Query Editor. You can see I've done some other parsing and filtering here using KQL. This part of Sentinel is fantastic for searching, filtering, sorting, and just learning about your data. Exploring raw data is the first step toward building meaningful analytics. And that brings me to the workbook component of the solution. Workbooks in Sentinel are much like dashboards in which they provide a flexible, interactive, fully customizable canvas for data analysis and the creation of rich visual reports. The workbook bundled with the solution is specifically tailored for visualizing Box One threat defense, threat feed hits, or RPZ hits, but you can easily modify the underlying KQL for monitoring all Box One DNS query data, for example. You can select a time range to apply to all visualizations, filter by several parameters, and drill down certain pieces of data where it is interactable. And the workbook tells you when items are interactable in the form of these blue text instructions here. For example, you can head to events by domain to get a closer look into what domains are being queried. You'll see an overall time chart of the top domains being queried and when. Again, you can filter by threat level, feed, and class. Here's an example of that blue text that will tell you when an item is interactable. So I can click on a domain here and then see all the events created for that domain with the more well-known column shown. Again, these are fully customizable in the underlying KQL if you edit the workbook. Every table is also searchable and able to be exported to an Excel file. If you scroll down further, there is a time graph graphing the top IPs querying the selected domain. Simply click and drag two points of the graph to view another table of events for only that window of time. The final component of the solution is a couple of simple analytics queries. Analytics queries are best described with an example. Let's say you are monitoring a ton of user activity data. You know that attackers are constantly finding ways of breaking into user accounts. Instead of manually searching through your data for anomalous logins, you can write an analytics query to be scheduled to search every last hour of data, every hour, for an unusually high amount of failed logins, indicating a brute force attack or other malicious login attempt. If this occurs, Sentinel will tell you in the form of an incident, 
and you can even enhance these incidents further to automatically respond to the threat however you see fit, such as locking the account for a period of time. The two analytics queries you see here, high number of high threat level detected and high number of NX domain DNS queries detected, have been created as part of the solution. These queries will create an incident upon 200 events created for the respective titles by a single source IP within the last hour of data. You can easily edit the event count threshold or time frame as desired. When the threshold of an analytics query is met, Sentinel will tell you in the form of an incident. You can perform all sorts of interactions with an incident, such as assigning it to another Sentinel user for analysis, performing an investigation, and simply viewing what happened in full detail. It will also tell you which source IP created the incident. Optionally, if you're ambitious, you can even create a playbook to automatically remediate incidents. Playbooks are collections of user-defined procedures that can be run in response to an alert or incident. And that's the basics of the Infoblox Cloud Data Connector solution. There is lots of official Microsoft documentation online on creating your own content for the data if desired, such as that playbook described earlier. Log, visualize, and analyze as you please with the Infoblox Cloud Data Connector solution. Thanks for watching.